channel. I'm Vicky and I love everything fragrance, body care, beauty, and I love a good haul. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to miss any of my uploads. Okay, you guys, I recorded this in a couple of hauls last week. Had to scrap them. I wasn't gonna redo this, but I felt like it was only right. Um, it's that time of the year again. It is the Sephora VIB sale. So today's Monday. The sale started for Rouge this past Friday, and I think it opens up to everyone tomorrow, which is Tuesday. So I feel like I'm not too late, right? Because the sale still goes for another week. So I think I think I'm still okay. Anyways, if you were interested in my wish list and recommendations then just keep on watching and you know what i ain't gonna hold y'all i did go to the store on friday so i have a few things but i also put it in online order so i'm conflicted if i should haul the stuff i've gotten already um now in this video or if i should do it all uh, later once my online order arrives i'm also not sure if i'm done shopping the sale i need to be done shopping in general but I don't know we'll see to be continued but i have to open my ipad first because i have a list and hopefully i can stick to the script of the wish list which it was cool a week ago before i actually started shopping the sale but i can still tell you guys my wish list and recommendations so let's just get into this video so first i'll start with my wish list um I'm trying to get back into having a solid skincare routine like I'm sure a lot of us are. As you may notice today, I don't have on any makeup besides my lashes and brows because I can't be coming on here looking like Miss Potato Head, okay? That's what we're not going to do. Um, but I have been using um, the Good Molecules Color Correcting Serum, I think that's what it's called. And I found this vitamin C niacinamide serum. Um, that's going to be in a self-care haul that I plan on re-recording at some point. Um, but you may, like, I have some scarring here that is actually lightened up quite a bit on both sides. Because my I was breaking out in my cheek area um, a couple months ago. And I feel like really on this side, it's really cleared up really well over the last, like, two weeks I've been using these serums. So I'm really excited about that. Those aren't at Sephora, but I'm talking about skincare. <laughs> so um, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream on my wish list. I did buy the smaller size at the fall VIB sale. And I actually really, really do enjoy that. Um, lately, I found a vitamin C um, cream that I also had. So I've been taking just a little bit of each, rubbing them together really well in my hands and like patting it into my skin. And I think it's been looking really good. Um, so that's why I want a full size. Um, but it is a little pricey. So I'm not sure if I want to wait until I get my Rouge Reward and redeem it for that or wait until later in the year because... I still have my Fenty moisturizer that I have to finish. So, and I also have one from Glow Recipe that I bought at the VIB sale in November. So, it's not something I need right now. I could possibly even wait until the next VIB sale and then put it back on my wish list just so I can get through the moisturizers I already have before I add more to the collection. But to be TBD on that. Next is the Ole Hyrixen, I think that's the full name. I only wrote, I only wrote like part of the name. But there's a vitamin C serum in that line that I've been seeing really great reviews on. I've been on a vitamin C kick lately, trying to find more products, especially skincare that have vitamin C in it, because I know that from past experience, my skin responds pretty good to those. So the price is steep. <laughs> Um, but I did pick up some other vitamin C products from Marshalls a couple weeks ago. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have already seen my self-care haul. Um, if not, that's okay. I will re-record it so you can see all the products I picked up from Marshalls. But I do already have a couple of vitamin C products that were in that haul. 
which is why this is on my wish list but it's not like a priority because a the price and b i've already picked up so many products and i don't want to have too too many skincare products because i feel like i can't get through those as quickly as i can get through body care because i'm not slathering multiple products on my face at once like i'm already using two serums and that's it like the other ones i bought will have to wait but blah 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 let's get back into this wish list <laughs> um i think that's it for skincare so next we'll get into um we'll do body care so i have a bunch of sol de janeiro items on here um i want to try that 62 oil now listen i found that i fell out of love with the 62 cent and that was before I even put it on Project Use It Up. So that didn't like make or break me loving the scent. I loved the scent when I first started using it back in like 2018. But over the last year or so, I just haven't been loving that scent profile in general. So it's that and it's the Tropic Glow line from Tree Hut. It's just something and even Sunset Glow from Bath & Body Works. Something about that scent profile has just not been doing it for me lately. Um, so that's why I haven't repurchased the mist or cream. But I did try the oil in store. And it doesn't offend me as much as the rest of the line does. So I really, really did like the oil. So that's why I do want to go that route. Um, I also have the Bio Radiance cream because it's new. I don't need it, but you know. I just I want it <laughs> next I was thinking about picking up a backup cream to Coco Cabana since it's discontinued but it's another thing I don't need I just want it and um on the flip side I barely have used the one I already have so maybe I don't really need it but I don't know I did buy those jet set packs now that I think about it <laughs> It's still on the wish list though. So we'll see. Um, next on here, I have the 68 and 40 and Bio Radiance Mist. So I want that. I already have these, but I want backups to all of them. In the event we get another surprise and they randomly discontinue something else, I don't expect they'll discontinue the Bio Radiance or the 68 because they're two of the more popular ones right now. But definitely um, 40, the Bomb Dia one. I think I want to back up Miss to that just in case they pull another fast one on us because I don't want any surprises. So there's that. What else is on here? Um, I have the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc oil and maybe even the Soleil Neige because I did smell that finally and it's actually a pretty nice scent. However, um it's hard finding the small ones in stock um the last couple of times i've looked it was just the larger sizes that were in stock and i don't necessarily want that large of an oil maybe i wouldn't mind it in the soleil blanc scent but i don't know if i would want it in a large size in soleil neige so but i definitely want the soleil blanc one so We'll see if I'm able to score it. Um, next, we'll go with makeup. <laughs> um, I want to try the one size setting powder because I heard it was really great for those who get like really oily. It was great at keeping the oil at bay. So I'm interested in trying that out. I also want to try the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Um, it's actually, I wrote blush, but since I've been to the store, I know it's a highlighter now. <laughs> and I did swatch it and the color just looks so nice on my skin. So I was like, hmm, you know, that'll be worth a try. And then I also want to try the Rare Beauty Lip Oil. Now listen. It seems like that line altogether is always sold out. And I just need to know if that collection in general is really all that or if it's just hype because 
it's Selena Gomez's brand. So I don't have anything from that line yet. <sighs> I'm, I'll just, we'll circle back to that. <laughs> but, um, cause I can't be on here lying either. Um, I did score a couple of items during the sale. So I don't want to be, I don't want to be sitting here lying, but I'm interested in trying it out to see if it's hyped or if it's really worth, you know, whatever. So, um, I don't really have a long list for at least wish list. Um, I don't have any fragrances on here, shockingly, probably because I had so much other stuff on here. So I'm trying to not spend too, too much, but I wouldn't be opposed to like, I don't know, checking out a couple of Skylar scents, like maybe Capri Summer. Um, there's, uh, I can't even think of that brand. The brand that has Tangerine Boy and Not Your, or Nobody's Wood or whatever. Um, Fleur, I think that's the brand. And maybe, I don't know if I want to get a backup to Vanilla 28 and just leave that on reserve and let it sit, you know. I don't know. Um, but I hope I don't buy any fragrances during this sale, at least no full size bottles. Um, but the sale's not over yet, is it? <laughs> now let's get into these recommendations. I highly recommend that now is the time, especially if you have 20% off, um, get you a fragrance. Even if it's just a travel size and you wanna experience it and then make up your mind about it and then for the next sale or even if they have the same scent at Ulta and you can get a better deal like this is a great time to try a new fragrance um those sample sets the mini sizes of literally anything skincare makeup fragrance this is literally the best time to try anything that's in a small travel size so that when the next sale rolls around, or like I said, if there's a different deal at Ulta or wherever else um, has the same product, you know that it's something that you wanna get in a larger size. So I definitely just wanna preface with that. But some things that I currently have in my collection and love, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it, okay, the Dior lip oil, I know I done trashed those lip oils and the NYX ones. And I have done a complete 180. Um, now, I have one. Now, I do like the lip oil in general. I do like the way that it looks on the lips. I think my issue with the lip oil is that I just wasn't getting a color payoff. So, to me, it's like, it's it looks like clear gloss on. It looks good, but, you know... I'm having a hard time justifying coughing up the money. Um, so I did spend the black. Now I have a Sephora bag from a couple weeks ago that I haven't hauled. So maybe I will haul that in this video too, just to keep it consistent with Sephora. Um, but yes, I did haul that a couple weeks ago, just in case I, it wouldn't be available around now. I didn't want to miss out on it again because it's usually always out of stock. So I found a color that works for me and it's berry, I want to say. I'm going to just show y'all now. <laughs> so I found this one, the berry color. Um, and this looks so nice on me. So that was a done deal. Um... I also recommend the House Labs lip oil. So that's what I was wearing in my last couple of videos. This is in the shade Primary, I want to say. So that's what that looks like. Definitely recommend this one. This one looks really nice as well. Um, if we keep it with House Labs, that blush that I had on in the last couple of videos as well came from House Labs. It's in the shade Acai Sky. It is Chef's Kiss. The color payoff, amazing, looks great on skin, especially deeper tones like me. Looks so, 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 so good. Um, 
with that, I will also recommend the Fenty Cream Blush in the Summertime Wine. That's when I, um, the first, well, not the first, one of the first few blushes I bought. Child, I just started wearing blush five minutes ago, and you would think I was a whole expert out here. But it's another nice wine, um, berry color that looks really good. Um, next on here, if I'm going to keep it with makeup, um, let's get into foundations. So my top three foundations that I really like, if I rank them in order, my first one is new to my collection, but I already love it. It is that Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Please hold while I go find it. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation. Okay. This was working really good. Not was. This works really good in keeping my makeup like it doesn't move it stays matte pretty good um i think i didn't start to get oily in my t-zone until maybe six hours so for me that is a huge win because usually when i put on foundation after like two hours i start getting really dewy oily up in my t-zone and that wasn't happening with this one Okay, I have tried plenty of foundations and at some point I start to get oily, like if it's hot, you know, if it's warmer, maybe not so much like in the fall, but like this was holding on, okay, and I'm here for it. So that would be my first choice. My second choice is this Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. So that's what it looks like, okay. This looks really good on as well. It's almost, I'm not sure if this is like, I think this is full coverage because it's for face and body. This looks so good on, okay? Amazing. And then the third one I would recommend would be the Pat McGrath Labs. I think it's the Sublime Skin Finish. Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection, child, okay? So... When I wear this, it definitely has a skin-like finish. It doesn't look like you're doing too much. So that I really appreciate. Um, so those are my top three foundations. I do have one from um, Too Faced from Born This Way. It looks good on, but still I have that issue where I start to look really oily after a couple of hours. I like the way that it looks when I'm all done and I'm all set and everything. But after, like, even when I were sitting here and record, after two hours, I'm looking, I could see it lifting and, like, looking real oily. So I like the finish. It's just me being more on the oily end of the spectrum. I don't love that. So do with that what you will. If you're more on the normal to dry side, then you probably won't have that issue and it'll work just fine for you. But yeah. Those are three foundations that I love. So when you guys are complimenting the foundations, usually for like the last couple of videos, it's been these two, the Estee Lauder and the Dior foundation, just as an FYI. And I always try to make sure I leave it down below in the description. Please sometimes remind me to update it because sometimes I be forgetting, but let's get back into this. If you are shopping online, now, I haven't checked. I should probably look, but there's the brand Artist Couture. They have this Diamond Glow Powder that looks so good. It's the main highlighter I've been using. I don't think it's available on the app, not in that exact color, which is rosé. But that Diamond Glow Powder in general is phenomenal. So, highly recommend you keep your eye on the artist couture brand in general i love their um lip glosses i think there's like the lip pouts or whatever those are really nice too um this was on my wish list but i will recommend the charlotte tilbury magic cream like it looks really good um if you are interested in doing the splurge because that thing is not cheap but i'll recommend the smaller size of course and the um glow recipe nice and my dew drops now i forgot to mention that part <laughs> so i do literally one little pump like a little dot of that a little bit of the um 
magic cream or the Fenty moisturizer because now that um I'm trying to finish my Fenty one I like switch back and forth now that I know I like the magic cream I switch back and forth between the two so whatever moisturizer I'm using between that a little dot of that as well so for the Fenty one that's a pump so one pump of the Fenty or like I'll scoop out a little dot of the magic cream one small drop of the dew drop the niacinamide and then a little drop of the vitamin c cream i have rub them together really well so it gets a little warm there we go so i'm not using a lot of anything just a little a little bit of the a little bit of each okay so that we're not slathering a multitude of products on our face um i didn't read this list in order oh the murad essential c cleanser so good especially now that like we're gonna be outside more for those of us that don't live where it's summer year round <laughs> now that we can go outside more um that works so good i used my sample size of that last year my skin reacted really well to it don't ask me why i didn't stick to it okay i have a bad habit of i'm a product junkie i like trying new things um I do have more now, so I'm going to get back to it at some point, but yeah, definitely recommend that as well. I think the last thing I have on here is the Fenty Skin Cocoa Cleanser, that soap bar that smells like cocoa butter. That smells so good, okay? It lathers amazingly and it leaves your skin so soft. Like, what else is there? Hmm? What else could there be? But yeah, those are definitely some um recommendations that i have for the sale now okay um first i'm gonna just haul the things that i've had for a few weeks i've already shown you the dior lip oil i finally found remember i said i had bought a sephora lipstick and i lost it i found it what was lost is now found i also found that pat mcgrath palette <laughs> the little blush palette this is number 38, which is Sweet Raspberry. It's a very, very shade. And if you have been paying attention to some of the things I've already hauled, you know, it kind of looks like that Juvia's Place when I bought. I am a real creature of habit. Unfortunately, I tend to buy the same things over and over. But moving along, I picked up the house labs blush in the color acai sky so that's what that looks like i got it around here somewhere so here's what the blush looks like that's one swipe super pigmented it's amazing it's so good i'm gonna learn how to swipe one day <laughs> a swatch and then next in this bag, so this was during that weekend in March where um, the, I think it was like the bronzer blush products were four times the points. So um, I got some items from one size. These are not on my wish list or recommendations yet because I haven't used them. Um, so the first one here, I think I'm gonna return, but I wanna get my Rouge Reward first. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I don't want returning this to kick me out of the point value. Will make me lose the points where I don't get the rouge rewards. Reward. So I feel if you're rouge and you have 2,500 points, you can exchange it for a hundred dollar reward. And that's what I'm trying to do. So the first one here is. Anyways, the first one here is the Made for Shade Bronze and Sculpt Trio. It's I picked the shade in the Dark Trio. Um, my concern with this is it's too light. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, it doesn't really... It's not really working with me, right? They have a deep one, which is darker than this, but I think that one's too dark. So... I keep looking at it and I just, I don't think this is gonna work for my complexion. Now, I kept seeing the reviews, they say it might not look like much, like when you look at it, but then when you actually use it, it's different. I swatched this in the store, like the tester after I bought it. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work. 
So next, I bought the 3D Blush Trio Cheek Clapper set. And this is in Berry Gay. There we go. So one is cream and two are powders. So that's what it looks like. I'm not a huge fan of that cream color, but it it could look different on. I do like this um, mauve pinky and like glittery one. Those look nice. Maybe I should swatch this cream one. No. Oh. It's the, is this dot? Wait, where am I? Right here. Is this one right here? It's not too bad, actually. Okay. I guess looks can be deceiving. Because <laughs> it definitely didn't look like much sitting there. But anyways, like I said, I did go to the store on Friday, the day the sale started for Rouge. Um, <clears throat> this I actually purchased a week ago before the sale when I saw it was in stock because the stuff is never available. This is the Rare Beauty Lip Oil in the shade Wonder. So that's what that looks like. And um, it's kind of what I have on right now. <laughs> oh, here we go. It's like this really cute mauve color. So let me reapply a little. I do have on some lip liner, just as an FYI. I think it's Max Chestnut. And I think, you know, it's not all that. It's cute, though. But we'll see. You know, I like it so far. Next, let's get into my bag. All right, wait. This is the right bag, right? <laughs> These bags all start looking alike after a while. So, I did not vlog. And I am I wish, like, part of me wish I would have vlogged because when I went in, the store wasn't busy at all. It would, it would have been perfect to vlog where I wouldn't have been, like, cramped with people around. But at the same time, I was able to really look around and pay attention, you know, in case I missed something. And that's hard to do when you're trying to vlog and get footage. But <clears throat> the first thing I have here is the big size in the 68 cent. This is... Pink Dragon Fruit, Lychee Essence, Brazilian Jasmine, Ocean Air, Hibiscus, Sheer Vanilla, Sun Musk. This is so, this is like fruity, airy, so, so, so good. Um, at first, I thought it was like pretty basic and whatever. But every time I spray, I'm like, this is so, so good. Like, girl, I need to wear it. I'm probably going to put that on my May use it up just because I want to wear it. Um, next, keeping in line with the brand, I have a mini Sol de Janeiro Bio, wait, Rio. I thought that was Bio. Is it Rio Radiance or is it Bio Radiance? No, I don't know. I got the new cream, okay? I bought it in the mini size because we all know. I don't need it in the big size. So I got it in the small one and we're just gonna be okay with that. And then next, I did grab the oil right here. I thought this oil smelled so good. So it's here. <laughs> next, I have the One Size Setting Powder in Translucent. If I can get that close enough. Yes, we got that. And then the rest of these are items that were not on the wish list. <laughs> So let me start with what was on the wish list. The Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Highlighter, right? Now, it was it just so happened that this is the um, Rare Beauty Highlighter in the shade Mesmerize, okay? This was sitting in the front of the store when I walked in. So I looked at it. I was like, okay. But I walked right over to Charlotte Tilbury, <clears throat> I swatched it again, and then I realized the Mesmerize one looked similar. So I walked over to that again. I swatched it, and looking at them side by side on my hand, the Charlotte Tilbury one looked patchy compared to this one. This one actually had a glow. So I opted to go this route, and this one is half the price. So it seemed like a no-brainer. So here's what that looks like. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a nice little glow to it. So I like it. Be a nice little addition. 
And then I found another gem. This is also from Rare Beauty. I lucked out and found things in stock. This is the liquid blush in the shade Grace. And this looks like a soft mauve color, I want to say. There we go. Um, I already have too many things on my hands and I still haven't laid eyes on my um, <clears throat> makeup wipes to wipe this stuff off. So I will, when, when I wear it, we will get a swatch. <laughs> and last but not least, I picked up another Milk Makeup Grip Primer because the one I have is almost empty. So there we go. So that's everything I hauled um, for my first round. Um, my online order isn't here yet. The one thing that wasn't on my wish list initially, but I keep seeing it, is that Fenty, I think, MVP um, lip lipstick or whatever, the liquid one. I keep seeing it. I'm not, I don't regularly wear reds. I'm always afraid of them, but... I wanna, I want that. I haven't swatched it. Maybe I should go in store and try it on. That's what I should do because I put in a Bopus order earlier because it said it was in stock in my store and it, it wasn't, so it got canceled. But I feel like I should at least go try it on, see how I feel about it, and then make a decision if I'm gonna try and get it before the sale ends or not. So, yeah. That's it for this Sephora VIB wish list, recommendations, and haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it's helpful if you are still putting a list together or if you've already been to the store and you're ready for round two, whatever have you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you in my next video.